In the last video, I showed you a 3D printable enclosure that allows you to add an additional 24 drives to your server. I wanted to make a quick follow-up video to share some more details about the enclosure and some of the options you have for connectivity. The Thingiverse link in the video description has downloadable STL files so you can print everything in this video yourself. But one thing I left out of the last video is that there are actually two versions of the enclosure on the Thingiverse site. One with 20 3.5 inch drives and 12 SSD bays, and a second option that has 24 3.5 inch drive bays. This is a 3D printable housing that can hold these easy to find two port SFF8088 to 36 pin SFF8087 adapters. These adapters allow you to convert these mini SAS external SFF8088 cables to these SFF8087 cables. This allows you to use the more durable SFF8088 external connectors for your enclosure and then use breakout cables to go from the adapter to your hard drives in your enclosure. I've added three of these adapters to my enclosure. This little box can be added to the enclosure giving you the ability to keep your internal cables for the drive separate from the external connectivity. This obviously adds a little bit of cost, but for me, I felt having the cleaner design for connectivity made it worth it. The cables themselves can be found for around $20. The breakout cables are about the same cost and the adapters can be found for around $20 to $25. I would be remiss not to mention that there is an even cheaper option to add more drives with the LSI 9216E, which is adding a SAS expander. I don't want to go into too much detail here as it could be an entire video, but there are a few options for SAS expanders. A popular option is one Intel sells, which is this six port SAS expander that can be powered externally without a PCI Express slot via a single Molex power connector. There's also this option, which is an HP SAS expander that I've tested personally. It can be connected via an external SFF8088 cable or SFF8087, but requires PCI Express power. The HP SAS expander connects to SATA drives at 3 gigabits per second and SAS drives at 6 gigabits per second. So it's a great option for spinning disk, but probably not the best option for SATA SSDs. If you end up adding one of these SAS expanders to your enclosure, you can eliminate the need for these little converters as they do this for you, as well as add extra expandability, allowing you to get the most out of one or even just two connections from your LSI 9216E. Another optional feature are the wheels. I added them to both of my enclosures as it really makes it a lot easier to move around when it's full of drives. They're locking, and if you add an ATX power supply, you'll want to add the spacers I've included in the design files on Thingiverse. If you add an ATX power supply, like the one I used here, then you can just simply attach the wheels, and there will still be sufficient clearance underneath the power supply. As far as connectivity goes, this super glue works great, or if you have a 3D printer pen, you can use that as well. The last feature I'll share is this fan controller, which I recently added to my enclosure with this housing. It has a temp probe, and if you use the housing I have included on Thingiverse, it fits nicely on the underside of the enclosure when the wheels are attached. This allows you to control the fans and fine tune their speeds, making noise more manageable, especially if you have loud or high flow fans. Thank you for watching. Please comment below and let me know if you've printed this enclosure and how it's been working for you. And again, please like and subscribe. It really encourages me to make more videos.